Yo, 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 yo. Come on now. I know y'all just heard the latest news. Beyonce, Queen B herself, she just revealed the title of her first country music album. Let's talk about it. How much time till we're on? Get, get on, what? We're on the air right now. Oh. <clears throat> I'm ready. Yes, indeed. Welcome to Blues House. This is Blues News, and I'm Bluminati. This is your one-stop destination for news, film, and TV reviews, and all things pop culture, man. Let's take this deep dive into Beyonce. Talking about what her new album is, the title for her new album, man. Welcome to the family, people. So Beyonce just dropped it. I mean, she just came out of nowhere and said, hey, here it is. This is the, the, the complete, this this country we own. You know what I'm saying? Title, highly anticipated country album. Tuesday, today, she, she said, uh, the name of the album will be called Cowboy Carter. That's the name of the project. Cowboy Carter. I ain't mad at it. She been she been giving us cowgirl, cowboy visuals, you know, for a long time now. She been letting you know. She been rocking the cowboy hat. She even dropped the two singles. She letting you know, hey, we do this. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, Beyonce ain't the first one. I know Beyonce is not the first one to do it. But this is what I will say. People should be happy that she is doing it and bringing the attention and the light to uh black people doing country you know what i'm saying letting people know that yes black people do do country music and do that shit well so i want to applaud her for even bringing attention to it it yes a lot of people are like it's already some dope artists i agree it's hella dope artists out there already but a lot of people didn't know so now in, in regards to people finding that out that Beyonce is doing it, they go and look into country music and find out, the, oh, shit, there's a lot of us out here doing country music. So I think that's dope, man. So the chart topping singer, she shared the title with the fans today by posting a simple photo of a black and silver saddle with the sash reading Cowboy Carter. That's how she, you know, she like to keep shit simple. That's what's dope about Beyonce. She posted a link, which included a, a way to pre-order a uh, limited edition box set, CDs, and vinyl. Uh, I'm gl- I like to see that physicals, uh, even even if it's just merch, but physicals is still an aspect of of the selling point when it comes to selling uh, music. I think we need to figure out how to get back into that. Streaming is cool and everything, but I think it has uh, uh, polluted or diluted um, the value of music in my eyes the actual tangibility of music. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what genre. Streaming to me has has diluted the tangibility. And I know music is not necessarily tangible. You know what I'm saying? But when you can actually have something that's yours, I think you cherish it, you listen, it, it takes an extra step to listen to it. So now it's not just hit the play button on your phone and call it a day. You know what I'm saying? She also updated her Instagram profile bio with the essential details for her album. Uh, act two, Cowboy Carter 329 is what the bio read. So she's letting y'all know on the 29th of March, get ready because I'm coming out busting people over the head with this cowboy album, with this country music album. She let y'all know, man. The box sex included t shirts, limited edition CD cover, and bonus tracks. Four colors were offered in the vinyl. The Cowboy Carter merch was limited to four copies per customer. So you can only get four. I know people probably going to run out there. Let me get 10, 15 if you got the money. But now nah, she said, hey, four is the limit. That's it. That's it. Let other people buy. Uh, so we know earlier this year, Beyonce delighted her fans by announcing a new album on the Super Bowl advertisement for Verizon. She confirmed speculation about her shift into country music with the release of her first two singles, 16 Carriages and Texas Hold'em. The pop star's change in style has helped make uh, more history in the music industry. Texas Hold'em reached number one on the hot country music's Billboard charts, making her the first black woman to ever reach that level on the, on, on that chart. Dope. Salute to B for that. Salute to Beyonce. Uh, the song's success was not limited to the country charts as it also hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100. 
So she got two charts on lock. She had two charts on lock. That's dope. Texas Holden was Beyonce's ninth number one song overall as a solo artist. And it was her first chart topping single since 2022's You Can't Break My Soul. Break My Soul. Uh, Cowboy Carter serves as the follow up to Beyonce's platinum selling album Renaissance. The upcoming album is the second release in a planned trilogy. Renaissance was billed as Act One, while Cowboy Carter was dubbed Act Two. Uh, you can revisit Queen's B 16 Carriages and Text and Hold 'em. You know what I'm saying? Streaming now on your phones, DSPs, and things like that. It's a trilogy, y'all. So you got Renaissance, Cowboy Carter. What, what? I want to know in the comments down below, are y'all checking for this Cowboy Carter album? Do y'all think it's going to be dope? Is it going to be a hit? And as far as the third album of the trilogy, what genre of music do you think she attacks? What if she came out and did like a strictly hip hop album, just her rapping? If Beyonce came out, you know what I'm saying? Because we get a lot of rappers who do R&B albums. What if we got the, the R&B artist to do the rap album? Hmm. Y'all let me know in the comments down below. Until then, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell out of here. Peace. Yo, what's cracking, Rules House family? Hey, we come to the end of another great video. Hope you enjoyed our take on the latest in entertainment. Don't forget to hit that like button and share your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. We would love for you to join us. Remember, Blue's house is your house. Until next time, stay tuned, stay dope. We out. Peace.